Okay, I'm back. Uh, I released RXB 2024 today on Atari Age, and uh, I thought it would uh, indicate that I had fixed in the dark that was part of the package. Uh, 2020, in the dark stopped working in that. I didn't fix it, and, it, and we had 2021, 22, and 23, now 24. It's finally fixed, so. I've been, you know, not working through things. <laughs> I've been working on other things. I've been trying to make a similar language for extended basic for RxB, and that's taken up most of my time. So I finally fixed in the dark. So we'll try to make this as quick as possible. I could do an hour long video if I have to, but you know, we'll just see how it goes. I should ex that it's on disk it's on disk one and it it has quite a few files uh, it's around it under 450 it's 300 and some odd sectors it's under 400 sectors in total the entire package and uh, you have your score this is just a very variable thing that it uh, has the values for the how to set it up you can change your own data in here for your own score, even where you're hiding, uh, where you're uh, located on the map. And then you have a load score right here. This is a show routine to show all the map, these right here. Because, you know, they don't look anything when you just look at them, they just look like this. Because they're designed for the screen, the screen saves. And this is in the SAMS, by the way. You can't load it in the dark without the SAMS. If you don't have a 1 meg SAMS, it won't even work. So, uh, okay, then we have like uh, the save routine. You can use the in dark or you can use the save routine. And then this is a new addition. I used uh, my call SAMS routine to make this with the call P save and P load. And it uses P load to load the assembly support. Previously at the end, if you look at in the dark, in the old one, where's that? In the dark. The old in the dark, if you looked at it, was, um, what is it that? There it is. Oh, I have to use this, just look at it. It had a, it had a data statement that was for loading the assembly. Anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. So you just push any key, it's in the dark. I've already done videos on this, but I just thought I would just show you this. You can say one for the disk. It knows what you're doing. Uh, now it's loading the, the uh, files. We can speed this up with classic. Can't do this on a regular TI. And slow it down here. Now you want to load the instructions. It did the assembly already too. You saw that flash by earlier where it loaded the assembly. Uh, you want the instructions? Yeah, sure. And it explains the instructions. You can stop the screen and see what happens here. And you can do that. And then we can just go to the game. Waiting for my uh, character to pop up. Oh, there I am. And if you do that, you can see where you're at right here. Uh, the uh, space bar will. Uh, You don't have to feel around you, but you might run into a trap. So you got to be careful. And, I mean, you only get three times you can hit a trap before you die. And these uh, blue dots here are the... Uh, All right. You can also have a thing called, uh, if you hit enter, you get a sonar. And the sonar shows you where everything you've just avoided was. And sonar beeps, and then you get a sign of what you've been doing. Anyways, uh, the original thing that I had, had 960K of SAMs, it almost will fall in full meg. But after playing for three days, I decided I wouldn't even, well, I was nowhere near halfway done. So it was stupid, and I was cheating in doing it too, so I knew where the map was. 
So it still took me three days to get where I was. So it was huge, to say the least. Anyways, uh, this is the game. The idea is to get out of the map. Now, there is a little uh, problem here. Uh, when you get down to a certain point, there's a uh, bot. It's a repair bot. These traps right here. So let's see if I go. Okay, we have to be better again. So if I go up. See where I am here. You enter again. See what I do the silver. Okay, so I'm not high enough. I went too high to pass them. Anyways, the idea is to get next to the traps. Let's see if I can do this. Go to the trap. Just go up and I hit the wall. Okay, hit the thing, and I can disarm the trap. It's turned yellow, so it's disarmed. Anyways, so it means it hit a wall. Yep, there it is. There's another trap that I just disarmed. So, and Under the wall. I haven't hit a trap so far. Yep, hit a trap. Your hands are going times. Press key. You can keep on going. You can only do it loud, you know, you only have so many times you can do it. I did it again. I can't believe it. Okay, so I can't get to that one now like that. And you don't have to search around and feel around you. You can just take a chance and go for it. Oh, in the trap. But see, that's what happens. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the game. Uh, there's a bot that will chase you. Uh, you don't want it to catch you. It will kill you. It searches for you and it keeps going from the top on down. So it comes in behind you and when it gets you, it will kill you. So you have to stay away from it. You can fake it out, but if you run it, because it follows pretty much, it looks around for your trail. It follows where you've been. So if you've been somewhere, it looks around for that trail that you left behind you. So that's how you get away from the, the, the bot. Uh, it's best to run away, get, get a distance of another screen away from you. So, and the sound gets louder the closer it gets to you. And the sound gets closer together the closer it gets to you. So you'll know where he gets you. Anyways, uh, that is the game. I just wanted to um, update you on what I've been doing with RxB uh, 2024. I'll make some other videos to show what's going on. And we'll talk to you guys later.